In this video, we're going to show you several different ways to export a build of materials from Cameo. So we'll start by creating a BDD and then several blocks to explain how the system is decomposed. So we'll see the assemblies and then the parts. We'll now create some packages within the model so that we can properly organize the blocks that we've just created. This step is just for model organization purposes and to show clarity. We'll now create a new diagram, type in STR for structure, and we'll click on structure decomposition map. We'll now drag the system block into the context of the decomposition map. You'll see that it quickly shows all the nested part properties within the system block. You can also change the block that is the context to the system context and it will do the same thing. And you can recursively look down within part properties all the way to the lowest level. Once you've created a diagram that you're happy with, you can go to the diagram itself, right click and go to print and then export this as a PDF by clicking OK. Another way to export a build of materials is to create a generic table and create it with custom columns and then you can export it to Excel. So we'll go ahead and drag one of our blocks from the containment tree into the element type and then we'll drag our structure package into the scope. We're now going to create a custom column, which is going to find all the immediate children of the block within the first name column. So to do this, we will select the simple navigation and then the composition set to true. Click OK. We can go back and name the column to child times one, which is just meaning immediate child. And you can see that it does populate appropriately. Another way to create this child times one column is to use a meta chain instead of the simple navigation. We can navigate using the specification window to show the jumps that we will need to create in our meta chain. So we will go from the block subsystem A's owned elements and we'll pick a specific part property. And then within that part property, we will go into the type of that part property, which will be a block and within that block, that is what we want to show as our child times one. We'll show this more complicated child one meta chain. The reason we're doing this is to be able to do it a second time for the child times two, which will find the child's child. To create this new custom column, we'll delete the simple navigation and start creating our meta chain. So we'll hit insert and you'll see block and then we'll do owned element. We'll change the element to part property to be more specific. And then we'll do the type of that part property. We'll click OK. And you'll see that both of the custom columns that we've created have the same exact output. So now we're going to create the child times two. And we're just going to edit that child times one same. To convert the child times one, to the child times two, we're going to insert two more rows into the meta chain, which are going to be exactly the same as the first two rows. So we'll do block owned element part property type. And this is basically just going to do that whole child situation two times. When we click OK, you can see the output works as intended and we can go ahead and export using the export button to Excel and this will allow us to immediately export the data. We'll go ahead and open up the Excel workbook that we just exported from Cameo and you can see that they are the same, the Cameo table, generic table that we created and the Excel workbook. We can go into the workbook and modify one of the cells. In this case, B3 will add some numbers to up the other system as the name. We can save and close the Excel workbook, and then we can go into Cameo and select the Excel button and then go to Sync Options. That will allow us to 
map the columns between the generic table within Cameo to the exported Excel workbook. Once the mapping is correct, we click OK, and then we can go back to that Excel button and click either Read From File or Write To File. Read From File is going to pull the data from the Excel workbook into Cameo, so we'll do that. You can see Cameo has a legend which is called Excel Import Status, which is going to tell you what is obsolete, what is new, etc., so that you can know the differences that have been made between your Excel workbook and your Cameo generic table. Just some last notes on the generic table. Instead of having the structure package as the scope, we could scope it down into something more specific, such as the L0 system context, and that will only pull the blocks from within that L0 system context package.